thanks again for coming back and checking out some of my videos. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please make sure you, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to give to one of my lucky subscribers as soon as I reach 200 subscribers a bottle of dun, 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 liquid mayhem. That's right, liquid mayhem. If you guys have never used this, you don't know what you're missing, man. This is an unbelievable product. It's made with pure, real ground up crawfish. I guess one with bluegill and stuff like that. They got them for bass, walleye, pike, muskie, all that. Um, but I'm gonna give this, once I reach 200 subscribers, I'm just gonna uh, do a random drawing, put everybody's name in, and uh, or I'll do a generated app, and it'll generate all the names, and I'll do one lucky drawing for one of you guys. For every 100, I'm gonna keep giving this away till I hit 1,000. So every 100, uh, subscribers, I'm going to give one of these bottles away. So uh, other than that, today I'm out on Lake Winnebago, going to be targeting some big smallmouth bass, and uh, hopefully big smallmouth bass, but we'll see what happens. The water's been really high, and I haven't been out here for a while, but this time of year, it's about the second week in September, I usually know where to find the, the smallmouth this time of year, so we'll see what happens. Uh, you guys are in for a, a fun show, so sit back, grab a bucket of popcorn, Make sure you subscribe. Also check me out at anglinadventures.com. I'll put the link down below, but it's anglinadventures.com. All right, sit back, have some fun. Love catching these fish. I mean, pound for pound, they're by far one of the strongest freshwater fighting fish there is. I mean, that's a beautiful little 13, 14 inch bass right there. Not bad. I mean, it's fun to catch. It's so pretty though. You know? It's, uh... I mean, I literally just threw back out there again. I've only made about 20 casts here and had three fish already. I mean, they're definitely starting to school up out here on the Winnebago system. And when you can find them like that, make 20 casts and have three fish, that's pretty exciting. Let me show you guys the uh, proper way how to rig a, a tube that's got a jig on the inside of it. First thing, you can't have the line attached to the eyelet until you're done actually inserting the jig into the uh, the tube. There's a hollow cavity, so all you basically do is just slide that that uh, jig all the way up in there, so you can't slide it anymore. And then just pop it through, pop the eyelet through, just like that. There's a little bit of uh, salt on that. One key thing too is always make sure that these skirts and and the tails on there are nice and straight, that they're not wound up around that hook like that. So that's 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 the key. And then basically just tie it right on. And you're uh, you're good to go. So let's uh, get this sucker tied on, get out there and get another cast, and uh, get another fish while this bite is hot. And the knot that I'm tying, uh, I think this one is called the Berkeley Trilly Knot. Basically, all I do is I just go through the eyelet one time, make a loop over my finger, and then I just go over those double lines about five or six, seven times, depending on how big a fish you're fighting. Just like that, take it, slide it, wet it, pull it down, and you're good to go. Well, not quite. Got to add one last thing. The liquid mayhem again. Been using it consistently, and I really believe that's been helping. I'll put some on the outside of it. I'll squirt some up on the inside. Get it all over the tails. I mean, this stuff, it, it really works. It really, really does. I mean, you guys should definitely give it a try. So, right, let's get back over to that spot. See if we can get another one. Come on, get 
Oh, gone. Broke my line. What the heck? Oh, did you see that? He bit it off or what? That was a big fish. My God. Wow. That was a pig, whatever that was. I got 12 pound test line. But there is zebra mussels down here. But I just retied though, just just not even a few casts ago. I mean, that's just what how it is. I mean, you get these zebra mussels out here and they're razor sharp. And you know, it doesn't take much for them to make that 12 pound line, like six pound line. So let's rig up another one. Well, I don't have as many jigs like that last one I just had because the difference if you see this one right here the eyelet is actually pointed straight up that eyelet goes straight up and I like the ones where it's at about a 90 degree angle so the eyelet's kind of like that that actually helps it to go over the rocks a lot easier so you don't uh, get snagged up as much so hopefully I don't catch as many snags rigging this one up but man that was a big fish I really like to know what that was that was a smallie oh that was the mother of all smallies out here, I'm telling you. That was a big fish. Now, one thing you want to do, too, when you're uh, done tying and rigging up your, your bait, even though your hooks are brand new, always check them. What, the best way to check a hook is to see if it slides or sticks across your thumbnail like this. Just take it, and if it sticks, then you know it's sharp enough. If it slides, then you know you need to just make a few passes with your hook sharpener, and uh, that way you're good to go. You know, I'm hung up. I don't want to go up there and spook the fish. If it's weeds, I should be able to get it out, but it's, I think it's hung up on rocks. So here's a trick that you guys can do that can sometimes help you to get it off a rock so you don't have to go up there and spook the fish. What you do is kind of like uh, you're shooting a bow and arrow. You just basically take your rod, get it nice and tight, and pop it like this. There you go, see that? Just grab the line, kind of like you're shooting a bow and arrow, came right out. A lot of times after you do that too, if you just let it sit there, there's a fish there, sometimes they'll pick it up too. are on fire tonight folks I'm telling you man that's like I swear I've made another probably 60 casts and I'm getting one fish about every every 10 casts catching big smallmouth like that that is just awesome catch a big quality smallmouth like that man oh yeah absolutely all right so all done had a good night tonight I would say caught 
quite a few smallmouth and that one wall I was out that was kind of a bonus fish to catch but uh, you know one thing you know this time of year as you can see there's nobody out here I mean I have this lake all to myself I mean there's nobody here I mean that's the nice thing you know guys are getting ready for hunting you know I mean uh, the nights are getting colder and these fish are starting to put on a feed bag for winter time and this is the time to be out here this is this one I start coming up shallow again and they start schooling up and you know you can just have a blast so uh, I look forward to uh, to uh, next episode with you guys and uh, other than that uh, thank you guys once again for checking out angling adventures and make sure you guys subscribe on the link below and comment maybe you know if there's something you want to see me do as far as fishing or whatever just let me know and I'll uh, challenge me and I'll go do it so all right look forward to seeing you guys next time around on angling adventures